Early one morning, Gordon's fire would not light. I don't know what's wrong, sighed the firelighter. There must be gremlins about. What are gremlins? asked Percy. I've heard that they're little green men who play tricks, replied Thomas. Can we find one? Pah, said James. Gremlins don't exist. They're just an excuse when things go wrong. If Firelighter says there are gremlins, there are. Ha! Ah, snorted James. Sir Topham Hatt had heard everything. Silence! he said. I am expecting a VIP, a very important person today. She has heard that all my engines are really useful. Please prove it. Yes, sir, they all said. As long as the gremlins let us. What gremlins? The ones in Gordon's fire, sir. That's why he's not ready yet. I'll see about that, thundered Sir Topham Hatt. And he did. Gordon, I expect you to be on your best behavior today. You were to pull the special coach for my special visitor. But no high speeds, please. She won't like that. Gordon was proud and pleased. He was waiting for his special coach when Percy puffed in with some freight cars. What's the matter, Gordon? You're late. Driver says there's gremlins in the turntable, replied Gordon. They must be everywhere, squeaked Percy. At last, the turntable was mended, and Gordon puffed away with the special coach. He was soon working hard to make up for lost time. After he arrived at the station, Sir Topham Hatt became concerned. Where's Thomas? he wondered. He's supposed to be bringing my visitor from the docks. Huh, huffed Gordon. Thomas isn't really useful if he's late. But it wasn't long before Thomas arrived. I'm sorry. A cow strayed on the line and we had to wait for the farmer to take her away. But driver says your visitor is here safe and sound. Indeed she is, smiled Sir Topham Hatt. How nice to see you. Who is it? whispered Percy. I don't know, replied Thomas. But Sir Topham Hatt is certainly keen to please her. He's arranged a special party for her. She's got a dog as well, said Percy. Well, come on, Thomas, said the driver. You need a drink. Pah, puffed Gordon. Thomas is just a lazy little engine. Sir Topham Hatt is expecting me to arrive on time. We're late because of Thomas. Gordon's driver decided to make up for lost time. Then there was trouble. I think we'd better slow down. This is an old line and could make things uncomfortable for the VIP. And it did. She was taking a bath and the water was slopping all over the place. Oh! She cried. Gordon was very relieved to reach his final destination, where Thomas was waiting to collect Sir Topham Hatt and his special visitor. He blew an extra long whistle. This frightened the visitor's dog so much that he fled from the station and ran into a field where a bull was grazing. The bull frightened the little dog even more. He ran back again, onto the platform and over the bridge. He didn't stop until he jumped straight into Thomas's cab. But he had a wonderful ride all the way to the docks. What's the dog's name? asked the fireman. Well, after today's events, I think I'll rename him Gremlin, Sir Topham Hatt chuckled. In that case, I've met one at last. Ha <laughs> ha! Excuse me, sir. But who is your very important visitor? Why, didn't I tell you? This lady is my mother, and she agrees with me. You are indeed really useful engines, and my mother, of course, is always right. Ha 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 ha!